Hi, welcome to a very hot and sticky workshop for episode seven of the Great Guitar Build of 2022 build. And this time it's time to start bending a bit of wood. Okay, so it's time to get these ribs bent up. I've got the lower rib form in the vise and ready to go. Now, a little piece of me wants to say, shall we have a go at trying to bend it right the way around this horn and get it in one go and avoid all the complication of having to put blocks into the horns and cut joints and stuff. And then the sensible part of me says it's just going to be an absolute waste of material because there is no way on earth that that is going to go around with the equipment that I've got. So I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to do it. I've made my mind up. So what I am going to do instead is form a piece into here and then a piece all the way around here. And we'll need to join it once we get it into the body mold with a little shape block in the horn. And hopefully we can do that in such a way that there won't be any obvious joints. We'll have to put a piece into the horn for strengthening anyway. So it's not a problem at all to do it in two pieces. So to help me do this, I've created a couple of little shaped calls that will help me kind of hold it all in position. And then this will just clamp down with regular clamps through these holes. I've also cut myself down some sections of the laminate to an appropriate size so that we're not messing about too much once we get going. And there's the little bits that are gonna go in there. Now, anyone who saw my 335 build will understand my technique for doing this. It's highly technical, requires some very, very specialist equipment that is hard to come by and costs an absolute fortune. Otherwise known as clothes iron. And this produces enough heat to sufficiently warm up the maple I used on the last build to get it to bend around a 335 shape. So I'm hoping it will do the same trick on these little bits of walnut. Can't see why it wouldn't, wood's wood after all. Okay, enough gabbing. Let's see if we can get these bent up. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'll start on these little bits. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of water onto them. Now it might seem a little bit unusual in guitar building to be putting moisture into the wood. It's usually the other way around. But what you need to remember is these are 1.5 millimeters thick. So once these are glued together and given a bit of time, they will dry out very, very quickly. So with that done, I'm just gonna take a damp tea towel. and start introducing some steam. I'm gonna concentrate on one end here because most of this is fairly straight and a lot of it is actually cut off. But you can also probably see that's starting to cup a little bit, which is good because that means it's warming up enough to start moving. And that has become a lot more pliable. So I'm gonna try and clamp that into position now. Okay, so that's the first two bits clamped in. There is a little bit of a gap there. I'm not too worried about that. I'm pretty sure once we get it into the mold and we force the block of wood that's gonna join these two bits together, we can get rid of any little gaps. But to be honest, you know, that's probably less than a millimeter. So I'm totally unfussed about that. Okay, so with that done, we can now kind of crack on and get this big bit done. Most of this, I'm pretty confident, will go around without too much steaming. It's quite a, quite a slow bend, so I'm sure that'll be fine. So realistically, it's this end that I need to concentrate on, but I'll steam it all and we'll see how we get on.
Okay, so that's the first one done. So I'll get this out of the vise, move it somewhere out of the way, and we're just going to do exactly the same job on the other half. Okay, and there's the second one all clamped up. Actually went a little bit easier that time. A little bit of practice always helps, um, but it's gone down lovely. You might have noticed I only really steamed this front section on the second piece. The rest of it has gone round absolutely fine without any kind of steaming at all. So that made the job a little bit easier. So all I've really got to do now is find somewhere to hide this from Mrs. Shed until I can figure out how I'm gonna clean it up oops and just leave these two to kind of cool down and dry out and everything so i'm probably going to leave these overnight which is an ideal time to end this video so i'll be back tomorrow when we'll get these stripped out do a little bit of cleaning up work and then get them back onto the forms with some glue and get them all stuck together so until then like if you've liked subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'll see you tomorrow thanks a lot for watching bye bye